Does the monotony of doing a workout on a treadmill sound super unappealing to you? It pushes a lot of runners away to train on the treadmill, do workouts on the treadmill, just because the experience is boring and unengaging. We set out to solve this problem with our latest feature release. Today we are announcing in the Stride mobile app a brand new treadmill running experience. With our new treadmill feature release, you'll be able to take full advantage of all your treadmill's capabilities, including changing incline, changing speeds to hit different power targets with a fun collection of pre-built treadmill workouts for you. Let's take a closer look at the brand new features. You can find these all in your Stride mobile app with this latest treadmill experience update. When you start a treadmill workout, you'll be presented with a large, colorful, and interactive display giving you a bunch of information while you're running on the treadmill. You'll be told each step of every workout that you create the estimated speed and the incline that you should be hitting with your power target as well. We give you this as a sort of ballpark figure to get around about the right speed to set the incline correctly and give you that power target. In the middle of this screen, you see this very large gauge that moves as you progress through your different power targets as you're running on the treadmill. If you're speeding up a little bit, you'll see that power start to move slightly to the right. If you're locking in in that steady state right around your goal power target, you should see it hover right in the middle there. If you need to pick it up a little bit, it'll go more towards the left side of the gauge. But we think this gauge is a great illustration to keep you around about the right sort of intensity target based on the workout that you have selected. When it's time to go to the next step, you will get alerted with the screen moving, showing you how you should transition. What should your next incline be? What should the estimated speed be? And what your power target is. As we get closer to the end of that transition block, you'll be dropped right back into the next treadmill step to start the next part of your workout. When you make your way through all the steps of the workout, you'll be greeted with a workout complete card. When you finish the workout, you can go ahead and look in your calendar for more detailed information about that workout, about that run. This includes elevation while you're running on the treadmill. So you can see how much elevation you gained based on the incline that you added to your treadmill workout steps. When you're ready for your next workout, you can go and check out our treadmill workouts collection from the Stride team to view a ton of different power-based workouts that mix and match different speeds, different intensities, different inclines, all made specifically for you to help you enjoy your treadmill running experience. Here are the main things you need to know. One, we have a new dynamic experience that provides you with the speeds, the inclines, the power targets specifically for you to have your best workouts on the treadmill. Two, this is available in your Stride mobile app. You can download the latest update today to view all of these features. And three, this is available to all Striders today. All Striders are getting access to 12 pre-built specific treadmill workouts and access to this function in your Stride mobile app. We hope you enjoy this brand new dynamic, super fun experience for all of your treadmill runs. We look forward to seeing everybody give us their feedback and experience with this, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.